We are live at the CompuBox Academy. The time is now as we get set for what should be an incredible matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. It's time for our tale of the tape. Sugar Ray Robinson, 5 foot 11 inches tall with a reach of 72.4 inches. And standing across from him, it's Mickey Ward. He's five foot eight inches tall with a reach of 70.1 inches. Talk about hot seats in the house. I am so lucky to be sat where I am watching this fight live. I can tell my grandkids about this. Sugar Ray Robinson, one of the most skilled boxers to ever lace up the gloves, inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990, and he fights out of Harlem, New York. Irish Mickey Ward. If you're looking for heart, courage, and determination, this is your guy, one of the toughest fighters that's ever laced him up. Look at this. These fights are so up for it. Look at that. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from New York, here is one of boxing's all-time greats with 174 wins in his 201 fights. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this. These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. And he misses with the left uppercut. Do you believe what we're seeing? with that power punch. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this showdown. This is not just hype. We are in for something special tonight. What an arena, what an atmosphere, what a build-up. This is with that jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he misses with that jab. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. I know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. On to the second round. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. There's a counter shot. One will count. Both men step back for just a moment. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. 
This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. But hard, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Left punch. Not a lot of defense here at all. No rest for the weary. He misses with that jab. with that jam. Good one. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone, he knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you have hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Great counter right hand there. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Insane action. Counter scores. Punch, counter punch. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Neither man really defending themselves. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. This can be so frustrating when you remember such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you even let one off. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Good counter right hand again. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Wow, it's like two different leagues. And that'll do it for the time between rounds as we get set to get back.
Ah. There's the bell for round four. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Solid punch. Both men step back for just a moment. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. They exchange punches. some of the best action I've seen in any round, anywhere, this year. Nice counter punch. That punch lands. And this round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more. Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Missed him with that uppercut. knockout or bust for both of these fighters. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Nice exchange here from both men. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. On her right. 
Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the tournament's got to put a firecracker on that fight to get out there and get the job done. There's the bell for round six. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. That left counter punch will score. Right punch. That left counter was perfectly timed. He parries that right jab away. Seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Nice exchanges from both men in this round very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Both men step back for just a moment. He threw the hook, didn't land. Goes to left, but doesn't score. He gets out of the way of that left hand. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Eternity for them finally comes to a close. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you're thinking, come on, Bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. The referee calling for seconds out. And there's the bell to start round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. When are we going to see a jab from these two? He parries away the left uppercut. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. 
How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and have a tell. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you, they want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Nice counter shot. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. You, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this far. And there's the bell for round eight. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Misses with that uppercut. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Perfect counter lands. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. And a counter left. Wait a minute, a left hand lands. These two are the perfect dance partners. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Good counter left hand there. Nice counter. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Good punch. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. That counter shot lands. At this point, you gotta believe he can't win on the scorecards. Gonna need a knockout. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're gonna get a kitchen sink. Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. After that last round, something has gotta change. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Neither man really defending themselves. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. And he just misses with that jab. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Punch. That jab doesn't score. Nice counter.
counter shot with the right hand. Nice counter shot. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Good left counter that lands. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Here comes the 10th round. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. A perfect counter shot. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. And he just missed with that left jab. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Back and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. Just misses with that big right hand. Beautiful counter shot. Not a lot of defense here at all. Oh, that punch. Nice job landing that left counter punch. These two fighters are made for one another. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Counter punching. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. The referee calling for seconds out as we get set for another round. This is the 11th. We've entered the championship rounds. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Beautiful counter punch. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. 
You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee, because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. You've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? Hand misses. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both men step back for just a moment. Hard. We see much, much more, much, much better. We can spoil. I'm being unfair. I'm gonna be an unfair sense. A little boring. It's not boring. We've probably just been spoiled. a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Lands with the right counter. They both want a knockout, you can tell. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow. You know what? I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up by ring away, you walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. <laughs> Who thought we would have made it to 12? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Punching for both these fighters. Both men step back for just a moment. The courage on display here is incredible. Both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Hard. Oh, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. Catch and shoot. Courage on display here is incredible. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. the uppercut but misses he parries that you know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one I'm not sure about the judges on this one a split decision win. These guys are doing their job right. I'd have called it exactly as that. You know, I might have been a round out or two, but these guys have got it right. Well even, even fight, even match. I'd have noted that as well. <laughs>